Mia Yim knows the thing or two about fighting from underneath and clawing her way to the top. She approaches each and every match she's in with that mentality fueling her. And then there's Trish Stratus, someone whose accomplishments speak for themselves, but they also put a major target on Stratus' back from superstars who want to make their name off of her. That they do, but Trish has made a career of taking on all comers, and this time's no different. Got the all oh, oh my goodness, crushing it! All measured up. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. Trish Stratus is all about practice. Trish is absolutely on fire right now. A running Hurricane Rana. Beautiful. Trish Stratus definitely knows how to win. She's a seven-time WWE Women's Champion after all, but what do you think that winning strategy is, Corey? Trish is the type of superstar who relies on a very specific game plan, which makes it easier to scout her, but it's also very effective. She's going to want to hit the greatest hits out here tonight. The chick kick, the stratosphere in the corner, and of course, bring it all home with the stratisfaction. It's a combination that earned her those seven championship reigns in the first place. Mia Yim is living proof that hard work and non-stop determination pay off. It took nearly a decade to get to WWE, and at no point did she give up. I remember the second Mae Young Classic after her barn burner of a quarterfinal match against Tony Storm. The WWE Universe chanted for Triple H to please sign Mia. Even the COO of WWE couldn't deny Mia Yim's talent after that performance. Now oh, trampling the opposition. What a German suplex. Can she take advantage? And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Man. Russian leg sweep. You two keep talking about Mia Yim's past, but I've said before, this is a what have you done for me lately industry. And Yim can't just rest on her laurels based on the Indies or one match of the year candidate. It's about her accomplishments now and what she has to offer in the ring now. It's about if she can adapt, because if not, she'll be left behind. Uh, Corey, no one is saying Mia Yim is resting on her laurels. I mean, this is a competitor who had to change up her style completely after suffering a broken leg between the first and second Mae Young Classic. If there is any female superstar who knows how to adapt, it is Mia Yim. Kick right to the midsection. What a shot. This superstar making an incredible comeback. Tapping deep into the energy reserve. Still in the fight. Rolling neck snap. She's showing signs of slowing now. She's not rising to the occasion right now. That up a rolling elbow. Don't break to the throat. Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. You have to sense that fatigue is starting to become a factor at this point. Make no illusions of it. This is coming down to a battle of attrition. Oh, right 
to the throat. Trish Stratus is unstoppable. Trish is absolutely on fire right now. Knife edge chop. Oh, look at it. Scoop slam. Fatigue must be getting to her. She's tough, but maybe not tough. And look at the quickness by Trish Stratus. Legs trapped. What's next? Oh, oh. What power? Thunderous power bomb. Oh, the reversal by Trish Stratus. Boom! DDT. Oh, it's locked. Look at this. She lets her out. She better have a good reason for this, Cole, because she just had her seconds away from tapping. I think. She says, no thanks. Eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. Kick to the gut. Boom! DDT. And here we go now. Elbow drop. feeling good right now. It's going to be a minor miracle if she turns it around. And look at the quickness by Trish Stratus. Oh. Hey, Byron. What's that? Protect your neck. What a suplex. Hey, Byron. What's that? Protect your neck. <laughs> 